Good afternoon, my name is Katerina Odarchenko from Vienna and uh, today I will expand, uh, explain you shortly algorithm of working with lobbyists in uh, European countries and in United States. It's totally different uh, algorithm and different regulation on these issues in European countries, in uh, European Union and in United States. So shortly about algorithm. Firstly, uh, you must understand stakeholders with whom you must have dialogue. For example, if you need to do some influence directly in Austria, it's better to work with Austrian lobbyists and with Aust Austrian lawyers who have directly connections and understanding of legislative acts in this country and also of act of registration of lobbying activity in this country. Um, it's the same in France, the same in Germany, the same in Litva, in any European country. But if you want to work not directly with country, but for example, with European Union, European Commission, it's other professionals who mostly work, who mostly work with uh, these structures. And you must understand that if you work with European Commission, it can be less than three years because they uh, mind it in three years strategy. And mostly, yes, mostly these offices based in Brussels mostly, but it's not the same that if you work with European parliaments, you must work only with Belgian people, yeah? Or if you work with uh, offices uh, in the European parliament, which is in Strasbourg, you must work with uh, French uh, lobbyists. It's, it's a difference and um, it's... Um, it's separated specialization to working with uh, you know, to working with uh, European Parliament, European Commission, uh, other um, structures, so the United Nations, for example, uh, NATO, and and other. If you wanted to work in the United States, it's uh, more than uh, complicated. Because uh, also, firstly, uh, you must understand your stakeholders and you must understand process of registration. Then you must sign contract with direct lobbyists who have specialization in your sector because people who are work on environment or people who work on steel, it's different people than um, lobbyists who work with IT issues for sure. Uh, how we work? Um, we work with clients. So firstly, of course, we understand stakeholders, stakeholders map, also uh, readiness or not readiness, your uh, legal documents, also your subjects from whom you want to do this lobbying. And then we uh, do the map for clients how we will work. For example, or firstly work with us and then um, we find direct lobbyist for you, yeah, from this country, or we work um, uh, separately in media work, then lobbying work, legal work, and it's different entities. And I must also tell to you that, for example, American lobbyists cannot sign a contract with you because of red flag. And if you have, for example, bad reputation or if you um, was uh, included to public policy to your country or if your also relatives was included to public policy to your country, you will have um, red flags and it can be problem with uh, signing contract um, with really serious lobbyists. For sure, we uh, don't need uh, to do lobbying only for photo with uh, some uh, senator or some congressman. We must have a result. That's why you must understand all process of due diligence, all process of also checking you, your company or your association before you will work in United States and before you will sign this contract with our partners from EGAPA or uh, with serious lobbyist group in United States. So I hope that your international work uh, here in Europe or in United States will, will be successful. Also, I invite you to join to um, EGAPA network to explore um, more information from uh, EGAPA network um, on EGAPA net and also work uh, with SIC International. Please send yeah, to me directly questions or to our other partners, I will be happy to answer all questions which you send to me or which we discuss on international discu um, discussions, conference and so on and so forth. See you. My name is Katerina Odarchenko and uh, be healthy.